you want to venture into African indigenous vegetable farming, you should understand that there are different variety for each of them that is better suited for the region and the end goal in mind. This is because different variety perform differently in different regions and different varieties have different purpose. Let us learn of different varieties for each vegetables and their uses. Let's learn about uh, three different varieties of vegetables, the amaranth, the African nightshade, and the pumpkin. These vegetables, they are those that prefer hot climate, but that doesn't mean that people in cold climate cannot do the same vegetable. But this is where the variety, the, mo the improved variety comes in. So you'll find the African indigenous vegetable having the Asian varieties and the, the new improved varieties. Most people think that the new variety don't have the same nutritional value as the Asian varieties. But these varieties are modified so as to suit different regions. Let's begin with amaranth. There are different types of uh, amaranth and different varieties of amaranth. And different varieties have different purposes. For example, there is the white amaranth. The white amaranth is uh, famous for, for flour. It is harvested the seeds and the seeds are grinded into flour, which is a substitute, a good substitute for people who are allergic to gluten or if you want something healthy, then you go for amaranth flour. The amaranth, uh, the white amaranth can also be consumed, uh, the leaves can be consumed, so it has two purposes. You can consume the leaves and you can consume the seeds in terms of flour or popped cereals. There is another variety that is the dubious variety. The dubious variety is a crossbreed that is improved amaranth. This is for the purpose of sustainability and uh, adaptability. The dubious variety is very adaptive, adapting to different climates and different regions. Thus, very suitable for farmers who are doing it for commercial purposes. The dubious variety is consumed, the leaves, the leaves are the ones that are consumed and seeds are used for the seed bank to replant them in the next season. This dubious variety is very economical because the seeds, it, is, it produces its own seed in a very short duration of time. You can consume the leaves for up to a, a year and it has the same nutritional value as the Asian amaranth. When you come to, for the purposes of dye, the rent the red amaranth, I'm sure you've come across the red amaranth. There are people who farm this red amaranth, especially in the Americans and the Asian countries, for the purpose of production of dye for the fabric. We can group the African nightshade into two groups, the bitter and the mild managu. The bitter Managu is, has a, a lot of variety in it and also the mild one have the different varieties but each of them have different advantages. People tend to assume that the mild variety is not real managu or real uh, amar, uh, nightshade. This is because it differs with the Asian, the, the small that the managu that is bitter, that was the Asian managu, the one you find in the forest. For sustainability, the broadleaf or the mild variety is, uh, it is more viable because the bitter managu tend to have very small leaves, unlike the, the mild variety that has broad leaves. For the, for the purpose of high yields, it is more economical to do the, the wild variety. But in terms of nutrition, they have the same nutrition. For the people who prefer the bitter ones, they are also cultivated. 
and they have their own advantages and some of the advantages is that they are used for medicinal purposes for example they, they are believed to be used for stomach aches but also the advantages of the broad mild leaf is the fact that even the children can consume these vegetables and also it has encouraged a lot of people to consume this superfood because now it is manageable for people who thought that the managu are bitter. There are different kind of pumpkin but for the purpose of vegetables we deal with the green pumpkin and this pumpkin has different kind of leaves. There are pumpkins that have green leaves with white strands. Those are perfect for vegetables, consumed as vegetables, and also their fruit is also consumed as a vegetable. And there are pumpkins that produce green leaves. In African cuisine, such as mukimo, it is used as the green ingredient part of the dish. The consumption of pumpkin is in different forms. There are people who prefer to eat, consume pumpkin vegetables as a pumpkin fruit, and others they prefer the pumpkin flour, others prefer the pumpkin leaves, and some prefer all of them. So there are people who won't eat, especially the children. They, they, when they are at a particular age, they don't want to eat the pumpkin fruit. So what you can do is dry the pumpkin fruit, grind it into flour, and when you're doing porridge or ugali or chapati, you can add the flour in, in, your, in your recipe. This way the kids will consume the flour or also people who don't like the fruit, you can tolerate it in different, in another different form. So it is very important for people to consume pumpkin because it's a, a, a food that is rich in beta carotene and also the fact that the leaves are full of iron and these are very good for people who are breastfeeding and also mothers who expectant mothers.